The Eastern Idaho Fair has wrapped up for another year. KPVI News That Works for You reporter Deanne Coffin was there as they prepared to leave. The Eastern Idaho State Fair has come and gone for another year. What was once a sign of life with fair goers being happy together is now just closed down food booths, remnants of the fair, and forklifts and cranes taking carnival rides down. We start at midnight and we're done about 4.30 in the morning after we close. And uh, we leave the following morning there and move on to the next fair. Right now, the Eastern Idaho State Fairgrounds are completely empty. But just days ago, over 200,000 people walked through here, and fair officials say even some days broke records. Don't have the final numbers yet. They'll be coming in the next couple of days as we sort through uh, and finalize everything. But as of today, I can say with pretty, pretty good confidence that this is going to be one of the best years ever. Fair officials say the fair brings in an average of about $2 million in food sales each year. Our best fair food competition this year was one of the best we've had in the last four years, and that's because our concessionaires are doing what they should be doing, which is making amazing food and delivering it year after year after year. As for fair cleanup, crews are busy cleaning up after thousands upon thousands of fair goers and even finding items left behind or lost at the fair. Some of the most common items left in the lost and found are cell phones, IDs, wallets, and spare keys. Fair officials say their primary focus will be creating more shaded areas for next year's event and plans for next year's fair will be underway when they wrap everything up at the end of September. Our concessionaires, our commercial vendors, so much was offered this year. If there's one thing that everybody said is that it felt really big this year, and it was big, and it was big in attendance, big in happiness, uh, just so many people that were happy together. Reporting from the Eastern Idaho State Fairgrounds, I'm Deanne Coffin, KPVI, news that works for you. Officials say if you lost something at the fair, you can contact their area. They keep those uh, items for about two months.